my name is Michelle Griffith and I'm a program operator through a program under the Workforce Development System known as WIOA. WIOA stands for the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act and this is actually a really great federal grant that's allocated to the states and individual programs have access to this money and we're able to provide services to our job seekers through the Workforce System here throughout Washington State. So today my goal is to share a little bit about an overview of the program, highlighting some of the benefits to the job seekers as well as talking a little bit about the eligibility requirements and specifically in this case we're going to be talking about all of our job seekers that have a military connection whether they are transitioning military members military spouses or our veterans let's start off by talking a little bit about the WIOA program benefits and some of the services that we provide. So throughout WIOA, the interactions that job seekers will have is one-on-one -on -one with our case managers. These individuals, known as employment practitioners, will work with our job seekers to identify a strategy and a plan to help them with their career goals. A lot of times there are additional needs or benefits that they are going to need some assistance with, and it's through that one-on-one -on -one engagement that our job seeker is able to develop that plan and highlight what some of those things are. So let's talk a little bit about what the benefits to the program are and some of those services. So we offer through WIOA short-term training opportunities. We also offer work-based learning, some support services, and a lot of one-on-one -on -one peer mentorship and coaching. So let's circle back for a moment and talk about the short-term training. For us, short-term training is an opportunity for our job seeker who today may not have all the skills that he or she needs, and they're interested in attending some classroom training. So we focus on training that leads to industry-recognized credentials and skills, and we work through the plan to ensure that we leverage other resources throughout the community, and then can also put forward some of our WIOA funds to help out with tuition. Now we also recognize that a lot of our job seekers come to us with a very strong skill set. And for those customers, they may not need to go into a traditional classroom. However, they may need some upskilling of their current skills. So in that, we look towards what we call work-based learning opportunities. And we have two examples of those. One is our on-the-job training, where through a direct hire partnership with an employer, that employer is reimbursed uh, for some of the wages and time spent doing training on the job. Another opportunity is for us to fund a paid internship experience where the job seeker can learn those critical skills on what, with one of our vetted host sites or an employer who's willing to dedicate the time and provide that mentorship and training on the job. Not only does this help with the skill advancement, but it helps to build professional relationships and networking and also leads to professional recommendations as you begin your job search. One of the other resources that we offer quite a bit under WIOA is our support services, and this one's a little bit tricky to explain. So I'm going to do my best to give you a really broad overview of what support services are used for. So under WIOA, we also have the opportunity to provide limited emergency assistance to help leverage resources and to ensure that the career advancement is continuing to take place. So what that means for me, kind of in a nutshell, is we look to the current situation of our job seeker and we recognize that oftentimes if there's been a shift in income, some of those basic needs are difficult to be able to obtain. So we're able to provide assistance, such as gas assistance, to be able to provide transportation to and from training. Or maybe there's a new job and it's contingent upon uh, an individual having the right credential or the right tools. So we're able to leverage our support services in an emergency capacity to be able to pay for those things. So again, this is really unique and specific to the individual. And so the job seeker and the case manager will sit down one-on-one -on -one to discuss what those needs are and look for other resources within the community as well. So now that I've shared a little bit about some of the WIOA services and benefits that the job seeker will receive while enrolled in the program, let's circle back and talk about eligibility. So there's a broad scope of eligibility, especially when we're talking about our service-connected job seekers. We do offer a priority of service under WIOA, which is important to recognize. So all time spent within the program is valuable time. So a lot of different ways that we can look towards eligibility. So let's start with first our transitioning military members. Once an individual has received notification on their transition orders, as long as they're within 12 months from date of transition, that job seeker can come in, learn a little bit about the WIOA program, and begin creating a strategy to help he or she begin the process to transitioning to civilian life and employment outside of that. 
We also are able to work with military spouses. Um, and again, there are a lot of different ways that we can help identify eligibility for our military spouses. So we'll talk with he or she a little bit about the reason why they're currently unemployed, whether that was because they just relocated uh, to accompany their active military spouse, or maybe their spouse has been deployed. Um, so again, there's a lot of different criteria that goes into that. So if you're a military spouse or you know of a military spouse who's interested in returning to work, definitely send them into your local one-stop center so we can talk a little bit more. Veterans are another big population that we're able to serve. So with our veterans, we look at a, quite a few different opportunities um, or different criteria to help identify if they're eligible. So a, a, one of the big questions that we get is, can we help individuals who have retired from the military? And the answer is yes. Through our adult program, we are able to work with an, a retiree, somebody who has already transitioned from the military and is now a veteran who has retired, and talk again about their specific circumstance and identify a way to help get them connected to the program. In addition to that, another question that we are often asked when it comes to veterans is, is there a length of time from the time that they did separate from the military? And the answer to that is no. We're able to work with veterans from any era um, and help get them connected to services if what they're looking for today is the opportunity to return to work. So that was an overview of WIOA services today and a little bit about the different eligibility requirements. And I do understand that that is a lot to take in. So what I want to remind you of is if you're working with a job seeker or you know of an individual who's interested in going back to work or returning to work, help get them connected to the WIOA program. The best way to help to locate us is through our WorkSource system. Our website is WorkSourceWA.com. And not only are we able to offer WIOA services throughout the state, but we recently opened up a new one-stop center at Joint Base lewis McCord. So we have the ability to provide services both on base and off base. In addition to that, I always like to add in, if we're not able, to, for whatever reason, to help that individual get connected to WIOA due to eligibility, we do our very best to help them get connected to other partners within the system. We're all working together to ensure that we're advancing the workforce within our counties here in Washington State.